Hello everyone and welcome to my channel today because you asked for it. I'm gonna give you the five most common mistakes that people that aren't even fluent in Spanish usually make. So stay tuned. Mistake number one, the use of false friends. We all know there's a lot of false friends out there, literally in Spanish as well. You need to make sure that you're not using the false friends. Even if you're fluent in Spanish, it's really easy to fall for this because some words in English are very similar to words in Spanish and it's just easy to like make it sound Spanish. Number two, subjunctive usage. Oh God, subjunctive means hell to me. It's hell to me as a native speaker and also as a Spanish teacher, it's really difficult for me to explain when to use subjunctive uh, because it's not the same in English and people think it's not that important. And I know a lot of people that have incredible Spanish. They're very fluent, but they still make mistakes with subjunctive. It's very, very common. And I think it's the last thing that you probably will master. You need to learn when to use it. Once you know when to use it, you need to practice and then you're a master, but you have to put the work. <laughs> Number three, pronoun placement. When I'm saying pronoun placement, I mean direct, indirect, and reflexive pronouns. All of them are basically the same. I mean things like lo, la, le, se, me, te. You know what I mean. Every single Spanish speaker use that all the time, every single day. And this is one of the most confusing things to learn as well because they are very similar and you need to learn uh, when to place them. Like the structure is different than English and the meaning is also different, but it's like so common. Number four, vocabulary. Sometimes people that are very fluent in Spanish still don't understand some words in Spanish. And I think it's because Latin America is so big and we use different words in every single country referring to the same thing. So it's really difficult to learn every single word from each country. It's almost impossible. I don't even know how to say some things in different countries in Latin America. So of course, people that are fluent in Spanish are gonna make these mistakes because imagine they went to Argentina and then they traveled to Guatemala and they just know how to say things how they say it in Argentina. So they're not supposed to know how to say words in every single country. So that's why I put it on the list because it's one of the most common mistakes. Number five, idiomatic expressions. So this one is kind of related to the vocabulary one, but this one is more about expressions, you know, phrases that you cannot translate literally into English. So these are challenging to learn because you have to learn it as a whole. You don't, you cannot learn word by word. You need to learn it in the right context with the right people. So a lot of people that are fluent in Spanish also make mistakes with this because they're translating literally and doesn't really express the idea or they don't really understand what it means. So there you go, guys. This is it for today. I hope this video was useful for you. I hope your Spanish gets better soon. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye.